Okay, for number one in the final, we have a 50 gram piece of metal boiled in water and then placed in 350 grams of water at 19.5. After a minute, the temperature is 25. So we start off with 50 grams of some unknown metal and it's in boiling water. So that's the hot one. And then we put it in 350 grams of regular water. Why is that 19.5? And after a minute, the temperature is 25. So the temperature ends up being somewhere in between. So the boiling one cools down the 19.5 heats up. So we're looking for the specific to the metal, the only thing we don't know. So here, of course, we know that the Q loss by the metal is going to equal the Q gain by the water. So the Q loss is going to be the MC delta Q loss is going to equal the MC delta Q gain. And again, what's going to happen is the one that's losing here, everything over here is going to be the metal. And everything over here that's gaining is going to be the water. So if I'm looking for the specific heat of the metal, I'm looking for that. So the M and the delta T move and come down underneath. So I'm going to have the C of the metal. It's going to be the MC Oops. delta T of the water divided by the M and the delta T of the metal. So <coughs> Over here, all that matters really, as far as the masses go, is as long as they're in the same unit, they're okay. So if one says kilograms, one says grams, you have to switch it, but as long as they're both grams or both kilograms, it's okay, you can just leave them like that. So if the metal is 50, that's gonna be on the bottom. We'll have a 50 down here, up here for the water, we're gonna have the 350. Now given right there in the problem was a specific heat of water, Specific heat of water is going to be 4180. And the delta T's again, the delta T's are how much it changed. So the metal went from boiling to 25. So boiling, you're supposed to know, is 100 degrees centigrade. So if I go from 100 to 75, that was a change in temperature of the metal of 75. And then the water started off at 19.5 and heated up to 25. So that's the change of 5.5. So up here we're going to have 5.5, down here we're going to have 75. So then it's just a matter of plugging in. So 350 times 4180 times 5.5 divided by 50 divided by 75. And then we look at the way the numbers are originally written, it looks like everything had three six things, so we're going to round that off to 150. And specific heat is in joules per centigrade degree. Nope. Joules per, excuse me, kilogram degree. Probably more degree centigrade.